Good day to you. It's got a ukulele back again with an instrument review. Uh, it's a brand I featured several times before. And in fact, at the end of 2017, I gave them a special mention for their consistently decent uh, value ukuleles. Uh, I featured one of theirs a few weeks ago. It was a much more higher end model. This one's a bit of a bit of better value. Uh, and this is by Snail Ukuleles. And this is their BH1C Concert. And it is quite the looker, as I think you will agree. Um, so a better value instrument, that's because it's made of laminate. And it's all laminate, spalted maple. And I'm glad it's laminate being spalted, because spalting are these black lines, which is actually a fungus that grows in the tree, um, uh, the tree wood whilst it's growing, uh, and leaves these black marks. So it's kind of diseased wood, effectively. It sounds like an awful term to use. Um, but it's very effective against the paler maple, as you can see, and they've been nicely bookmatched. So that's two pieces on the top that match, uh, two pieces on the side, which also match. Two pieces on the back, the back's a bit more disappointing because there isn't a lot of spalting and the book matching is, is a bit more uneven, but there we are. Standard concert shape, all finished in a decent quality gloss that isn't sort of pooling or bubbling anywhere, no raw flaws to it. Uh, and it's very attractive. There's lots of other things on this that are striking too. We've got some pale wood edge binding on the top with some black purfling on the stripe. And we have the unusual offset sound hole in the shape of a teardrop. I don't normally like offset sound holes, but something about that one I quite like. Uh, and we also have a side sound port which transports the volume up to the ear of the player so it projects out and it projects up. Um, it's all pretty interesting isn't it? It's certainly going to make you stand out. We've got a, a, an ebony wooden bridge there, it's through body. People think these are difficult to change the strings on, they're really not, they're very very simple. With a bone compensated saddle, kind of what people have referred to as a Batman logo uh, bridge. Um, and you know, it's all pretty well made. One thing about a side sound port that I like is it allows me to look inside and see uh, the detailing of the build. The bracing is nice and delicate, the curvings are notched, the bracing on the top is kind of a fan from here to here and going down. Um, what it does show me though is that there's masses of overspray pooling of the gloss in through the sound hole and that's just messy you know that can be avoided most other brands avoid it and that disappoints me a little bit but there we are it doesn't change the tone up to the neck they don't specify what this is it's either mahogany or sapili or nato or something like that or a kume probably uh, it's in three pieces joint at the heel joint at the headstock it's very chinese in profile overly rounded which i don't like 35 mil at the nut i'd like a bit wider uh but uh, you know it's hardly surprising most from the far east come like this um it is topped with an ebony edge bound fingerboard um edge bound in a paler wood and the wood is pretty nice quality and even in color but it's it is pretty messily finished down here in fact i am picking that up in the light as you can see um there we are. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Frets the body. And then 15, 16, 17 and a half. Because that one is cut in half because of the shape as it goes around the sound hole. I rather like that. Um, we don't have outward facing fret dots. We have this inlaid wooden lily. Very Hawaiian, very stereotypical. That is not my thing at all. Um, you may like it. I don't. Um, and we have side dots at 5, 7, 10, 12 and 15. So no real complaints there, just a bit of concern about that. That's just personal. Um, beyond the nut, which is bone, incidentally the setup on this is very good. Uh, a little bit low if, if anything on the bridge, which is unusual. We have the standard snail headstock with like a chamfered edge and a dark wood top. Snail logo is wooden inlaid. It's a bit scruffy on the finishing on this one too. And named, but I can't work out what the name is, open geared tuners with vintage style buttons, which are attractive. Uh, although they are, they do have that problem of being sort of different uh, tensions, which I don't like. This one's come with fluorocarbon strings, although the website spec says that they're aquilas. They're not aquilas, they're fluorocarbon something. And you get a decent quality padded gig bag with the snail logo. And that's all for a pretty decent price, a very decent price, in fact, of 199 RRP. And they're a bit cheaper if you shop around. That's really good. That's putting it up there as a better value alternative to things like the Carla exotic laminate uh, Ziracotes and things like that, and Bocots and you name them. Um, it's a pretty good price. Uh, it's not a really cheap laminate, 
but it's well made actually and that wood is clearly very striking um it's it's nice and light it's nice and balanced it feels well put together you know my my gripes are minor some some little finishing details inside some finishing details on the fingerboard some finishing details on the headstock don't really like the tuners and i hate that flower but this is going to make you stand out this is different to a lot of ukuleles it's got a lot of features on it you don't get at this sort of price um how's it sound thankfully it sounds extremely good yeah it's a laminate tone but it's a very good one it's a, it's got great volume it's got great sustain it's got a real sort of chime and brightness to it it's like a music box sound i like it a lot actually and i it's very very playable that's the other thing i've been noodling with this a lot more than i normally do sound hole that that really does help but it's no slouch out front either really like it finger picked Yeah, I like this one. Um, some bits of it I don't, but they are mainly personal issues. It gets a very good score. I think Snail have done it again. I think Snail are consistently, they've really made a name for themselves now. What used to be um, the world of Carla, the world of O'Hara, is now needs to have the word Snail in there as well. They're a very respectable brand. They're carried by very respectable uh, ukulele dealers as well, not just the big box places and Amazon, uh, and that tells me something also. This is the Snail BH1C concert with the teardrop sound hole in spalted maple. Many thanks to Red Chili Audio, who are the UK distributors of these, who sent me this on loan for this review. Um, it's a very good ukulele, and it comes highly recommended from me. Back next week, something very special next time. <laughs>